another case today. The following information was obtained from the records of a manufacturing unit using standard costing system. So you have standard and actuals. Production 4000 units, actual is 3800. Working days 20 and 21, machine hours is 8000 and 7800. Fixed overhead so much and variable overheads. You are required to calculate the following overhead variance, variable overhead variances and fixed overhead variances. So we have to go deeper into each and every variance under variable and fixed overhead. Let's get started. The first one being variable overhead variance. What is the formula for variable overhead variance? You have to compare the standard overhead for actual production with actual overhead incurred. So here we are talking about variable overhead. This is the variable overhead for budgeted production units of 4000. But what we have to see? We have to see standard overhead for actual production. That is this 1,20,000 is for 4,000 units. We have to see what is for 3,800 units. That's what you see here. 1,20,000 divided by 4,000 multiplied by 3,800. Okay, that gives you standard overhead for actual production. Compare that with actual overhead which is 1,20,000. Okay, in that case if you calculate, you are getting the difference as 6,000. It is negative. So, it is adverse variance. It means here what was incurred is 1,14,000 actual, sorry, I mean what was considered as standard is 1,14,000 actually incurred is 1,20,000. So, there is 6,000 adverse variance. Okay. Now, we will go little deeper into this. This variable overhead variances arises because of what? Because of variable overhead expenditure variance then variable overhead efficiency variance okay so let's find these two now let's now focus on variable overhead expenditure variance and how that is arrived we have to take what is the standard overhead for actual hours and that should be compared with actual overhead so what is the actual hours see here the variable overhead is 120000 this is basically for the budgeted 8000 hours. But we have to see what is for actual hours. That is we have to see what is for 7800 hours. So it is simple. It is 1,20,000 divided by 8000 multiplied by 7800. That will give standard overhead for actual hours. Then that should be compared with the actual overhead which is 1,20,000. So again there we are getting negative. It means the standard is 1,17,000, actual is 1,20,000, so it is 3,000 adverse. Okay. Next one is, we have to find out variable overhead efficiency variance as well. And how we are going to do that? We have to take standard rate per hour, okay, multiply that with the difference, the difference of what? standard hours of actual production and actual hours okay let's understand this see they have produced how many units 3800 units but how many units was budgeted 4000 units and for this 4000 units what is the envisaged time it is 8000 hours so 8000 hours is for 4000 units then what is for 3800 units that will give us standard hours for actual production that should be compared with the actual hours of 7800 then that difference we have to derive then that should be compared with the standard rate per hour so what is standard rate per hour we know variable overhead is 120000 that should be divided by machine hours okay let's do that now we'll find out standard rate per hour which is nothing but the variable overhead of 1,20,000 divided by budgeted machine hours of 8,000. Okay, so we get 1,20,000 divided by 8,000. So this is the standard rate per hour. Next, what we have to do? We have to find out the standard hours for actual production. Already I explained this 8,000 hours is for 4,000 units. Then for actual 3,800 units, how much? 
let's do that standard hours for actual production is nothing but the budgeted mission hours divided by budgeted production into actual production that is 8000 divided by 4000 multiplied by the actual units of 3800 and that gives 7600 this 7600 is the standard hours for actual production that should be compared with the actual hours of how much 7800 so let's do that now we'll bring this formula over here it is standard rate per hour multiplied by the difference the difference of standard hours for actual production minus actual hours that is 7600 minus 7800 gives us uh, negative 200 and that is multiplied with the standard rate per hour of 15 so we get negative 3000 so this is adverse so now you see the variable overhead efficiency variance is uh, uh, 3000 adverse and variable overhead expenditure variance is also 3000 adverse okay so both put together 6000 adverse you can cross check yes it is 6000 adverse okay so we are done with that part then comes fixed overhead variances okay so here we have lot many calculations we have to do this very meticulously now fixed overhead variance what is the formula it is simple it is absorbed overhead minus actual overhead so what is the fixed overhead 4000 sorry 400000 that is 4 lakhs this 4 lakhs is for 4000 units then for 3800 units how much they would have absorbed okay so that gives you absorbed overhead compare it with the actual overhead of 390000 let's do that okay so it's 400000 divided by 4000 multiplied by 3800 that's what you see here 400000 divided by 4000 multiplied by 3800 then from that you deduct the actual fixed overhead of 390000 so you get 10000 adverse okay so this is your fixed overhead variance now we'll go deeper into expenditure variance volume variance and all okay now the first item fixed overhead expenditure variance how do we do that it's actually simple take budgeted overhead compare it with actual overhead so what is budgeted overhead it is 400000 actual is 390000 so 400000 minus 390000 you get 10000 positive it is favorable variance okay that is done next we have to find out fixed overhead volume variance which is the difference between the absorbed overhead and budgeted overhead what is absorbed overhead here absorbed overhead how do we find this 400000 is for 4000 units what is for 3800 units that will give us absorbed overhead compare that with the budgeted overhead of 400000 simple so 400000 divided by 4000 multiplied by 3800 okay that gives you absorbed overhead minus budgeted overhead of 400000 so you get negative 20000 so that is adverse okay so here we got fixed overhead expenditure variance 10000 favorable whereas fixed overhead volume variance is 20000 adverse so what happened here plus 10000 minus 20000 so the net position is minus 10000 and that's what you can see here as well here you get fixed overhead variance which is nothing but negative 10000 that is adverse variance okay now what we can do we can uh, further subclassify this fixed overhead volume variance that is it it arises because of fixed overhead efficiency variance fixed overhead capacity variance and fixed overhead calendar variance and once we find all the three and if we sum those variances we should automatically get this 20000 adverse variance okay so let's get started now we'll take fixed overhead efficiency variance that is efficiency is measured in terms of hours worked right so what is the standard hours for actual production see they have taken 8000 hours that's meant for 4000 units so for 3800 units what is the standard hour that should be compared with 
this actual hour of 7800 so that difference should be multiplied by standard rate and what is standard rate how do we know the standard rate per hour it's simple take the fixed overhead budgeted divided by machine hours that is 8000 hours so we get the standard rate okay so let's put that fixed overhead efficiency variance is nothing but standard rate per hour okay standard rate per hour multiplied by standard hours for actual production minus actual hours so how do we find out what is the standard rate per hour take fixed overheads of 400000 divided by 8000 hours we get it as 50 per hour okay and how do we know what is the standard hours for actual production it's again simple this 8000 is for 4000 units what's for 3800 okay so 8000 divided by 4000 multiplied by 3800 we get 7600 this is the standard hours for actual production we have to compare that with the actual hours of 7800 okay so there is a difference of 200 so let's put that now the formula again repeating standard rate multiplied by standard hours for actual production minus actual hours so it is 50 multiplied by 7600 minus 7800 so you get negative so minus 200 into 50 so it is 10,000 adverse variance okay so this is first item that is fixed overhead efficiency variance next we'll move on to fixed overhead capacity variance here what we have to do we have to compare the actual hours with the revised budgeted hours why what is the need for revised budgeted hours so the need arises because this 8000 was actually planned for 20 working days but they have worked for 21 days so 8000 divided by 20 multiplied by 21 will give revised budgeted hours that should be compared with the actual hours then we'll get that variance okay so what is the actual hours 7800 what is the revised budgeted hour we have to calculate it as 8000 divided by 20 multiplied by 21 okay so that's what you see here it is standard rate per hour multiplied by actual hours minus revised budgeted hour so it is 50 multiplied by actual hours of 7800 minus the revised budgeted hours is 8000 by 20 into 21 so we get it as negative 30000 so it is a adverse variance and finally moving on to fixed overhead calendar variance and uh, how how this variance arise because of difference in the number of days okay so the budgeted is 20 actual is 21 so actual is greater than budgeted so it would result in favorable variance okay so that number of days should be multiplied by rate per day and how do we know what is the rate per day it's simple fixed overhead of 4 lakh divided by 20 days okay that would give us the rate per day then multiplied by budgeted days minus actual days so it is 4 lakh divided by 20 multiplied by budgeted days is 20 days minus actual days are 21 here actual days are greater than budgeted days so it would result in favorable variance so 4 lakh by 20 into 1 so we get 20,000 this is favorable variance okay now let's uh, check this is plus 20 minus 30 so we get minus 10 and again another minus 10 so overall if you add all the three you should get uh, adverse variance of 20,000 yes that's what you get here under fixed overhead volume variance it is negative 20,000.